Hello. Welcome to the TV room. Oh, it is time to gather things. I removed this chip. I did. Broke a pin. Well, supposedly it's a bad chip, so it matters not. Alexa! Stop! All right, so it took some doing to get everything out of all the holes on this board. We do not need Mr. Weller here. We do not. Too many cords in the way. Goodbye, Mr. Weller. You could sit over there. Okay, so we have another iron heating. We do. We do indeed. All right. So the solder I have there is obviously too short. Oh. Well, this is a mess. It was all curly Q and nice, but things happen. Oh, there's the end. Okay. So, we'll snip some of this off. We will. Put that in there. Now, the other thing I've done here is I really, I can't find the sponge that I would, oh dear, often use. So, I have brought some paper towel, and I have it wet, and I'm going to do a little tidying up on this iron in the wet paper towel. Which, of course, will cool it off some. But so be it. All right. Oh, and the wire is a little bit messed up with the light. Make sure that everything is just so before beginning the soldering operation. First, I go right there. And that did not go well. Well, it's somewhat okay, but not great. And I'm going to go for this corner. Well, that looks much better. And I'll go for this corner. Better. And this is the demon corner that gave me so much grief getting stuff out of there this one is way too high it's got a, uh, come on people okay that looks better we'll just tap on there for a moment And keep on going down the line. So this is socket installation. Because there's no way I'm going to go through all the desoldering trouble and never have to do it again on that ship and this board. No way, no how. In some ways, I wish all machines had everything in sockets. But then, of course, there are times that sockets can 
didn't fail. Or I also was reading something about pins were too long or pins are, no pins are too short or something of that nature. And that is disturbing. Hello, Penny, I hear you. I hear you, Penny. I do have to not come in. The solder must flow. And right now, my hand is sitting in the way of the light. I'm not sure that that's going to be any better. Anyway, I'm going to look at this bunch here. That one does not please me. I think it's time, Ooh, time to drop the solder now. Time for a little wipe on this thing. This looks mighty dirty there, there. Get that extra crap off there. <coughs> Get the solder hot until it flows. Okay. That one did not flow. Then it flowed. That one, I think, ended up with some of the solder left over that did not flow. Oh, come on, people. Okay, that went well. That went well. The solder is getting short. When the solder gets short, your hand can become warm. <coughs> All right, maybe a little more on that one. Now, as always, before I do anything drastic, Let's just declare this all happy, 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 happy. I am going to put this, I'm going to give this iron a little rub on the, on the, uh, the paper towel that is wet. I'm going to put it on the holder and I'm going to get my really, 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 really strong glasses, ones that make it hard to see unless I get really up close. I'm going to inspect. And I think, okay, oh, now I can't barely see, Whew. oh, it's powerful, I don't know what they're rated at, but they are beastly powerful, okay, so, what have we done, we have here, the 64, that is, complete with everything, Except for that chip 
which of course was what we took out, and then eventually got broken. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. The iron is, okay, the iron is hot. Therefore, the iron, which we are done with, must get unplugged before any accidents happen. Okay. The iron is unplugged. Okay. Now, I can move Mr. Weller. And make sure that no cords get near that. No cords. Okay, now here we have another 64. And this one worked fine with the joysticks. So if you remember, first of all, the fellow I got this from said there was joystick trouble. And you know what? There was. So we have replaced, well, we haven't replaced the chip. We're going to replace the chip. We are taking this chip out of this board. And this test it all good. And now we're going to put it into the U1 position. Oh, this will bend. This will be bend on the pins. Just a little bit. Maybe back a little too far. And we'll check the witness mark because things happen. I'm gonna put it in. All right. So that iron is still in danger, 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 danger. There's a good spot. There are some pliers. There are some pliers. This light can back off of here. What is this? Okay, this is power. The switch is off. This looks like the monitor cable. It is. I'll turn that on. Now I'm also just going to take a peek underneath the board. Make sure there is nothing I could get in the way. And you know what I might do? Because I can... Even though I see nothing, although there might have been a little wee bit of solder, <coughs> I'll take this piece of paper basically that fits the board perfectly and put it underneath. And if all goes plan as planned, when I turn this on, it should come alive. What have I done? Oh, right. Okay. In the midst of all this, I have unplugged the 64 power supply. And in the midst of what I'm just doing, if I did what I thought I was just about to do, I would have managed to plug the soldering iron back in. That would not be helpful. Oh, there's so many cords here. So many cords. That's a video cable. That is the power supply. So, we'll turn this on. And we'll see what happens. Shazam! The 64 is up. Okay. Now, the game that we tried that definitely showed there was joystick trouble, a centipede. 
So we will put centipede in. Now, what happened before is I had to diddle things around on F sorry on joystick part one to get the game to start. I'm not sure what I did. Okay, no, that's not working. Oh. All right, let me go to the receipt board too. No, that's not working. Okay. Stand by. Fine. I'm gonna turn it off for a second. Because it did before I want a keyboard. Now maybe the thing kind of working, or kind of coming alive with joystick inputs, is part of the trouble. I would like to think that this is now better. And I can move on to something else. I would like to think. Okay, so there is a very yellowed, dirty, dusty keyboard. I'll turn it on. Okay, I'm going to press F1. And nothing is happening. Yeah, also, oh dear. What have I done? All right. Now, also, I don't know if this keyboard is filthy dirty. Oh, man. So we'll turn this on. It seems to be registering. It seems to be working. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have the keyboard in right? I do. There is the chip puller. I am going to take out this chip and double check the pins. And the pins are good. I'm going to put them back in. And it is in the right way. Oh. All right, and the machine still comes up. All right, centipede is going in. And F1 is doing nothing. What have I done? All right, let's hold off on being incredibly worried. I'm going to grab this sixty four. Oh, don't yank the hot soldering iron down. Don't yank the hot sorry down. All right. I'm going to take out this other 6526 chip. Maybe something's wrong. But I'm pretty sure this is the one that I tested everything with, where everything worked. So this is mysterious. Oh, man. You know. 
Um, all right, something is not happening here. Let's try hit stop. I wonder if all of that heat has done bad things. Okay, cartridge is in. Pit stop. Let's go. Port. Um, okay, that's working. Motor driver, labs, turkey, single, Monaco. We're up. We're moving. We're accelerating. We're going fine. We are whipping through this. Just handy. Maybe the odd car is it, but it seems to be fine. So why was that other cartridge not? Happening. I just don't know. Oh, let's go into the pits. This is where I screwed up everything else last time. This is weird. The thing is vanishing sometimes. And it's not responding properly. Okay, that's beautiful. Shut off. Joystick out. Cartridge out. Keyboard out. Dead ship. What have I done? What have I done? Our ship comes in retro rewind, diagnostic harness, etc. Okay. So, let's get things on here and see. We well, don't want that yet. Test with the diagnostics. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Cables, 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 come on. All right. Cables. After being in the bag, they seem a little excited. All right. Port cartridge goes on. What am I missing? Oh, this the one goes on to the this one goes to number two. This one. Goes to number one. So we're all connected. We're all happy. Do we have the right thing? We do. Okay. 
Maybe there's something else I miss here. Maybe I damaged something with all that extra heat. Hopefully not. Basically before this came up with everything fine except you one. That is what I changed. Keyboard bad. So it says keyboard bad, but it's not reporting any chips as bad. Now, I've been through this before with this thing about which way to put it. And I thought I pretty much had it figured that it should go outward. I thought. So I'll turn it around. Try again. Video chip is mighty warm. And this is peculiar. Switching this around, I'm also going to pull this out of here for a second, just because I can. I'll put it back in. It's back in, and everything is in. Everything should be fine. It should be fine. But maybe there's something else. So it's going through the test. You are bad. All right, I am perplexed. <laughs> I am perplexed. I am perplexed. I am indeed. So I'm going to take this all out. Turned off. I'm going to pop this out. I have to find something to hold that thing on better because it comes off. The cover does. And then the thing wants to kind of fall apart. I've got to do something. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay. 
Так, Эндрай. Кендрай, Кэрпли. Так. Эндрай, вот это все. I know what I was doing before. Alright, something is obviously not. Alright. This is getting frustrating. So, there's also a time when you get frustrated to say that's enough. So we'll see again. I could just reach up and find. Oh, she stopped recording. There we go. 